No, come on, you come on whenever you want. <laughs> the, the bronze medalist with the time of 13.09, winning four medals in a row for Jamaica in this event, Rashid Broadbell. The silver medalist, the first one, two for the United States since London in 2012 at the time of 13.09, Daniel Roberts. And the gold medalist, the U.S.'s first gold medal since 2012 when Aries Merritt won the gold with the time of 12.99, Grant Holloway. If you have a question for the medalist, please put your hands up. We'll come bring you a microphone and please state your name and your outlet before you ask the question. Question for the 110 meter hurdles. Right here. Hi, Denise, the Players Tribune. Grant, before the competition started, you talked about just approaching the Olympics as if it was another meet. How are we feeling now that you've gotten the Olympic championship? Yeah, I mean, I feel good. Um, oh, do I need to? You're on. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, no, I feel good. I'm definitely happy. Um, obviously, coming into this meet, it's definitely, you know, the nerves and everything is going to be high. But, you know, the main thing is, is just come out here. Run each round like it's like you have nothing to lose, and obviously, you know, today was just getting to the finish line before anybody else, and that was the main goal. And now, you know, we can have fun. I was just talking with these guys backstage, like this was the thing that we were all waiting for. This was the thing that we wanted to accomplish, and you know, now that it's accomplished, now we can, you know, sit back, have fun. <laughs> I think the main thing is for all of us, we can finally sleep. Um, and you know, we 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 run through. A thousand, you know, scenarios in our head, and you know, obviously, we all want that outcome to win. But I think the biggest thing for all of us is just, you know, we, how can we execute our race plan, you know, the best way that we can do. Next question, all right, Anderson? Anderson, Emerald City, it's Mag. A uh, question for uh, Broad Bell. So you've had a lot of setbacks over the past couple championships. What was the you know mental state that you were in to prepare for this Olympic Games to be able to get on the podium? Um, for me, it was really tough. Uh, I mean, I had to like. There's some times when you want to cry. Sometimes when you was like, all right, I can't make it. But you know, my inner circle, you know. They motivate me every day. You know, my dad, my girlfriend, my mom, my coach, you know, my little friends that I have uh, on the game, they, they motivate, motivate me every day uh, to just, like, stay focused and just drive, push on, despite whatever obstacle I have. Like, I do hurdles, so I have to get over it. So I feel like uh, we did that uh, tonight, uh, got over those obstacles that I've been carrying all season, and we produced a medal. I want to talk about... The final, the moments following the race, it was clear Grant had the gold, but three one thousandths of a second separated Daniel and Rashid. That probably felt like an eternity watching that screen. Can you talk about what was going through your minds? Uh, you go first. <laughs> um, I mean, I knew I was getting the medal. It was just a matter of <laughs> if it's going to be silver this time or bronze like last year. So I was, I mean, either way, I would have been happy. It was a not a great race for me, and and any, by any means, but. Um, I was just happy to be up there, see my name pop up on the silver, and yeah. So yeah, uh, for me, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, hey, I was at, like, when the, when the gun went off, I was like, oh man, I'm in the back again. I gotta make up. So I was like, I said I was like closing and closing. I was closing fast. I'm like, all right, my legs started feeling tired. I'm like, okay, it's just this, just get to the line, get to the line, and time to dip. When I look up, I was like, okay, it's tight, and then I was like, okay silver or bronze i'm like i just wanted to be on the podium you know like giving like everything this season just being on the podium it was like it's just like a moment you you like your first time like when you got your first toy or your first candy it's like it's just a grateful moment i'm, I'm just feeling truly grateful other questions for yep right here and then your, your neighbor there i tried to be brotherly <laughs> No, someone take the mic. Everybody gets a turn. <laughs> no, you Marcus Thompson from the Athletic. Grant, uh, is there a chance you could maybe uh, run more events? It feels like you have a lot to give uh, out there. USATF doesn't want my talent. Uh, <laughs> they don't want me. I'm the I'm the I'm the lost kid on on Toy Story. I get thrown in a corner and I'm lost for six months. You know, they don't want my talent. Um, right now, I'm in I'm in the event with some killers, you know. Obviously, sitting side by side, I'm in an event that I truly, you know, do love. But I don't see myself switching. I don't see myself going somewhere else. I mean, obviously, 
the 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 thing that I wanted to complete was my career grand slam, and I was able to I was able to complete that at the age of 26. So obviously I can you know switch and dibble and dab in other events, but I don't want to. You know, I like to compete against the best um, day in and day out. You know, that's just my mentality, and you know I think the hurdles, men and women, is definitely one of the hardest events in track and field. So I just want to be able just to you know stick in that stick in that moment and 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 continue just to show my excellence there. Uh, Brendan Quinn, also of the Athletic, um, you know Grant, you just say what you just said, right? They don't want your talent. You've said in the past, uh, you know, Grant Holloway doesn't sell tickets, et cetera, et cetera. You know how much of this is self-deprecation? How much of this is the thing that you use to whatever energize yourself? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean I think I'm. I think I'm one of the, 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 the top five athletes in this in this sport and I get treated, you know, I think lesser than. Um, I'm the one that is, you know, winning world titles day in and day out and I don't have a watch deal. You know, obviously having a watch deal in this sport is, is, is huge, you know. I'm the one doing what I have to do day in and day out, practicing, um, you know, putting USA on the map and making things happen. And I don't get some of the, the sponsorships as some athletes do that you know, haven't done what I've done. And, you know, at the end of the day, that, that doesn't drive me. I mean, obviously that's something I want, but, you know, it's you, you play the card that you're dealt, you know. In poker, you can get pocket aces, but if someone has pocket kings and a king pop on the board, you're screwed, you know. So it's just one of the things where, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. You know, I don't, I, I, w I, w I want the watch deal. I want to I wanna have that recognition, you know, that some athletes have in this sport, but I'm not the one to count pockets. I'm not the one to count you know, um, I'm not the one to show jealous or envious, you know. So my biggest thing is, is as I continue to grow in this sport, you know, I want to continue just to uplift the one-ten hurdles. You know, obviously, you know, we put on great performances every year. You know, Brock Bell last year running 1294 at his trials. Obviously, Daniel at our, at our USA trials. Sorry, whenever I'm not running, you know, he's killing the USA title. But, you know, they're, they're, we are doing, you know, what we have to do to bring attention to this sport. And, you know, do I believe that we all deserve that recognition? Absolutely. But I don't think none of us get it. And I think the biggest thing is we just want to just continue just to show how exciting, you know, this event was. You know, we were the last event tonight after the women's long jump and obviously Sydney McLaughlin's doing Sydney McLaughlin's things but that race itself was exciting you know you look at second and third position you know like he said it you're looking at that board you're looking at that board you're looking at a board and you know it's that type of excitement and you know for Broad Bell to get his first medal you know like he said it's it's it's, it's brand new it's, it's great for him I'm happy for him he was definitely supposed to get a medal last year but you know on on Unfortunate things happen, but you know that's that's the hurdles, you know. So just want just continue just to uplift this sport, and you know I, I will continue to say I don't sell tickets. <laughs> I will continue to say that um, I feel like I'm lesser than in this sport, but at the end of the day, I've always said as long as my coach, my family, and myself, you know, as long as I can take care of all of them, I don't need none of it. I just need to follow up with a clarification: Is it the event? Is it your Personnel, like, what do you think it is? That's, I think that I'm you're full, I think I, I think I have the full package. Um, uh, personality, I know how to talk, but I just think, you know, I think they just put their energy elsewhere, and I think it's unfair. But you know, I play the hand I'm dealt, and at the end of the day, I can wear pocket twos in my hands. You can have the pocket aces. That was really good. Oh my gosh, I'm really <laughs> like that. I am really like that. Yeah, we, we're, we're quoting that. That was good. <laughs> um, Follow-up for Grant, just you said you got the Grand Slam, the world titles, the Olympic gold, um, and you've spoken about that you want to go postseason to run a couple more races, run a couple sub-13s. Is the world record now on your mind a little bit more? Absolutely. Um, whenever I line up, not just for Broadbell and, and, and Daniel, but whenever, you know, Diamond League meetings put together, great, great, great performances, you know, you pit in Hansel. You put in um, really anybody within the top 10, 15, you know, we're able to produce fast times. And I was just talking with the guys backstage. Like, if they're continuing to run, I know I have a chance to definitely continue to run, you know, fast times. And, you know, now I'm running stress-free. You know, this this was the main pinnacle. Um, but to go to races now and, you know, really just put my best foot forward and, you know, run stress-free, like I said before, it's going to be great. And, Excuse me. I'm looking forward to just 
really just just running. You know, Aries Merritt did it after he just won in 2012, and he caught a rhythm running 12 9, 12 9, 12 9. And then in the last race, he was able to pump out that 12 8. So, you know, if I pump out a 12 8, cool. If I don't, hey, you know, so be it. But, you know, I've done everything I wanted to do this season. Um, if I decide to end my season right now, I have no shame in it. And uh, like I said, I, my main goal was to do what I had to do at USA Trials in order to get here. And then obviously the main goal was just to, you know, win Olympic gold. Do one more. All the questions are coming from the same place. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Marcus Thompson with the, with the Athletic. Daniel, you said if you didn't hit like four hurdles, you would have beat uh, Grant. What made you so positive about that? I mean, it wasn't necessarily saying I would beat Grant. I just believe I would have won in general, no matter who was in the race. Um, I only say that because I know how consistent I've been this year, and that was probably the worst race of the year by far. But at the end of the day, I mean, that's what championships are for. It's not about who's the fastest. It's about who's going to execute the best on that day, and that was not me today. So, I mean, no matter what I say, I could say I would have won. I would have did this. I didn't. So, I mean, silver is cool for me this time. I mean, obviously, we always want to win. We always want to do better. But, yeah, we got silver this time. And um, just pushing for next year, man. Just keep doing what we got to do. Getting better every year. Rashid Broadbell, Daniel Roberts, Grant Holloway, the podium in the men's 110-meter hurdles. Congratulations and thank you. And we may now stop the stream. We'll have an update on the men's javelin press conference in just a moment.